chicken. If you like what you see, click like. You can't tell me you don't like what you see here. Look how thick that crust came out. Let y'all see just how crunchy this is. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, we are making mustard fried chicken. And I know y'all heard that crunch. And I know you want this recipe, so let's get started. Here I'm adding some adobo. I'm just using a light sprinkle on it because some of the other seasonings I have have salt in them as well. Sprinkle some pepper to your taste, however much pepper you like. I'm adding some garlic powder. I'll also be adding some Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning. In addition to that, I'll be adding some Badia Cajun season. And now we'll season the other side as well. Now that the other side is already seasoned, we'll get it all into a bowl and get that ready for the next step. Here I'll be adding about a cup of onions and I'm just using this amount to marinate them in because I prefer the onions over the onion powder, it just gives a better flavor. Here I have some French's mustard, which I thought I had it in the frame, but sorry about that. You wanna use a really good brand mustard, that way your flavor comes across much better. So I chose French's for this recipe. And with me, I like to kick things up a notch, so I'm adding some spicy brown as well, just to intensify that yellow mustard flavor. Now, what you do next is you just wanna stir everything up really good. You wanna make sure that that mustard and those onions get all in between the chicken. Almost pierce the onion with the spoon if you can so that some of that juice squirts out of the onion which will just marinate and season that chicken even further now this i'll put in the refrigerator overnight okay it is 24 hours later and this chicken is smelling so good it is well seasoned and i'm gonna dredge this in some regular flour i'm not gonna dredge this in seasoned flour I'm gonna just knock off these onions because I only wanted those in there for flavor. And I'm gonna dredge these in some regular flour because this mustard carries a lot of salt itself and I don't want my chicken to be over salted. So what I'll do is I'll dredge this and sit it to the side for about 15 minutes until it absorbs the flour and then get it ready for the oil. Okay, I have my flour here and I'm just gonna show you how to dredge it and make sure that you get a really good coating on it. This is a real big one here. So you're just gonna put it into your flour. And you're gonna take your hand and press down on it just like this. This makes sure that it gets in all the cracks and crevices of your chicken and it will give it a really nice coating on there. this piece looks yeah look at that nice thick coating that's gonna give a nice crust so you just sit this here on this cutting board and let some of this flour absorb in there that way all of this flour doesn't just fall right into the bottom of my oil 
So I'm gonna do all my pieces and I'll come back and get them ready for the oil. Okay, this chicken has sat here for about 15 minutes and as you see, the flour has started to absorb very well. This tells you that it's time to put this chicken in the grease. Okay, so my oil is at 350 degrees and we're gonna get frying now. Now I'll fry these pieces because they are somewhat thick. I'll fry them between 15 and 20 minutes. Okay, let's check on our chicken. It's been about 15 minutes and this chicken is ready to come out. Look how golden and brown this chicken looks. I can't believe how nice and pretty this crust is. Do you see how thick that crust is? And the smell, it smells so good in this kitchen right now. I wish you could just smell the mustard smell in this kitchen. It smells so good. I can't wait to taste this chicken. Look how thick that crust is. Oh my God. You guys have to try this recipe. Let me bring it a little closer. Let me get y'all a close up shot. Mm, do you see this chicken? Oh my God. Type in the comments that you can see this chicken. Now let me taste this and let y'all see just how crunchy this is. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You know what you taste? You don't taste flat out mustard. You taste the, the vinegar and the spices that are in mustard. And I tell you that this is some good fried chicken. Follow this recipe to a T. Now there's a lot of recipes for mustard fried chicken that you can try, but I'm telling you, give this one a try. And soak it overnight, let it marinate. If you don't have overnight, at least four to five hours on the countertop. You do not want to miss out on this. This is so good. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time, I'll see you on the next video.